Probably the flashiest part of the Filipino stick fighting arts is the double stick. It's the one that everyone remembers after the demonstration where someone did something like this or the reverse. It looks very nice. And there are a lot of combinations that you can come up with. And there are many Filipino martial arts that specialize just in Sinawali. Typically what happens, even after stick practitioners have had years of experience in just doing this sort of thing, they go from this during the fight to something more like this. Now you have two sticks in your hands and you have what seems to be an advantage, but what in reality is happening is you don't have your mind and spirit in two sticks. You're more, they're divided. It's confused. Your energy, gee, should I hit with this? Should I hit with that? And your brain kind of gets overloaded. And finally, what says, well, I don't want to get beaten. I don't have the armor protection that I'm used to training with. So instead of trying to wing it from here, I'm going to do this. And if you want to have this other stuff live and be able to use it when you fight, you'd better be able to have a little power behind both sticks at the same time. All this stuff has no meaning until you're able to do that.